Now is the part where we talk about what a mole really is. One mole is a whole lot of things. To be specific, it is exactly 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd things. When I say things, typically those things are atoms or molecules, sometimes electrons and other applications, but really this number is so large, it's only very, very, very tiny things that you'll ever have this many of. The word dozen is used to count 12 things, no matter what those things are. If I say I have a dozen, it doesn't give you a lot of information. If I tell you I have a dozen bikes, you now know I have 12 bikes. So when we say one mole, we have that many things which gives us our second formula, which is number equals moles times Avogadro's number. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is known as Avogadro's number. When I say number, it can be atoms if I'm talking about something pure like carbon or sulfur, or it can be molecules if I'm talking about something that's a compound like carbon dioxide, or has two atoms together, like N2. Whether it's atoms or molecules depends entirely on what it is I've plugged in the moles of. So for our first sample problem, we're going to find the moles in 5,000 atoms of carbon. Five thousand. This is how many we have. And I'm looking for moles. So I know this, I'm trying to find that, and I know Avogadro's number. So my formula is number equals moles times Avogadro's number. Five thousand equals moles times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Plugging into my calculator, 5,000 divided by. When you do the scientific notation on your calculator, it's most likely that you're using a button that looks like a double E, but when you type it, it's just gonna be a single E, and it's a capital E. 5,000 divided by 6.02 E23 gives me 8.31 times 10 to the negative 21 moles. Really small number of moles. Really small number of atoms. It's much more likely that we're dealing with a larger number of atoms. So a second example might look like this. How many molecules in 3.9 grams of Li2O. Before I can find the number of molecules, I'm going to need to have the number of moles. I don't have the number of moles yet. Is there a way I can get it? Absolutely. Because I know grams equals moles times molecular weight. And if I have the mass of any compound in grams, I can get its moles. Molecular weight for lithium is 7. I have two of them. Molecular weight for oxygen is 16. This gives us a total of 30. 3.9 grams equals moles times the molecular weight of 30. 3.9 divided by 30 gives me 0.13 moles. Now that I know the number of moles, I can get the number of atoms. So I'm going to use my second formula, which is number equals moles times Avogadro's number, and I'm going to take this and plug it in there. So the number will equal 0.13 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So my answer times 6.02 E23 yields 7.8 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of Li2O. Again, if we're talking about a pure substance like carbon, 
we're talking about the number of atoms. If we're talking about a compound, we're typically talking about the number of molecules.